Yo, what is going on YouTube? I am Germ here. As you guys can see up on the screen today, I want to talk a little bit about Corsair Gaming Incorporated. This is ticker symbol CRSR. Um, obviously a very, very popular stock uh, on social media with retail trailer uh, traders, uh, not trailers, traders. Um, obviously, it's a favorite of financial education. Jeremy over there, you know, it's a stock he talks about all the time. And I know that he is going to be very, very excited today um, because this stock had a, a great day all already this thing was up 3.91 percent today which was very very good to see obviously for crsr shareholders and investors but then after hours once the stock market closed you know like an hour 50 55 minutes after the stock market closed we see this you know almost vertical line very very largely up you know in, in a couple of minutes this thing went up 12 percent um and now not only were we up almost four percent intraday but we're up almost you know over nine percent after hours as well and a lot of people are wondering what the heck just happened you know usually if something like this happens you'd expect a major announcement earnings you know something like that going on but we just had earnings last week so this isn't earnings so what is going on? That's what we'll be talking about in this video today. So definitely drop a like if you guys do enjoy it. I would appreciate that so, so much. Uh, and subscribe to save today and all my latest content. Uh, obviously, in this video, no financial advice is being given. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not telling you to buy, sell, do anything like that. Just going over the news, talking about some stocks, sometimes giving my own personal, you know, uh, personal opinions on things. But again, you know, do your own research, uh, dive into these companies as you see fit, uh, and, you know, make some uh, responsible decisions on your own. But with that being said, let's get right into this one. Like I said, Corsair, very, very great day today. Um, the year has been a little bit rough for Corsair. You know, they're down 2% on the year. Um, and this is, you know, if, I think not even factoring in the after hours move. Yeah, not even factoring the after hours move. So we started the year at 21.99. After this after hours move, if this holds in tomorrow morning, we'll actually be up on the year, which is very, very good for Corsair Gaming. That makes them an outperforming stock so far in 2022. So, um, you know, Corsair Gaming shareholders, while yes, being down 2% right now might feel bad, but hey, look around the market. Look at all the other stocks. Even look at major indices that have really, really, really been hurting lately. Corsair's been a pretty damn good stock in 2022, and it's one that I personally think, you know, could potentially continue to be a very, very good stock. It is a stock that I'm invested in at this time. I have shares. I have 2020, uh, I think, four, yeah, 2024 call options in it as well. Um, you know, I, I, I really, really like this company. It's, you know, one that I use. I have my Corsair mouse right here. It's, it's a company that I really, really like. I like the streaming side of things as well with Elgato, obviously being a content creator myself. Um, I think this company has a bright future ahead of it, but I also think, you know, based on what I'm taking, you know, into future growth and future numbers and stuff for the company, I think they have a very, very, um, appealing uh kind of valuation at this current time but that is just obviously my opinions like i said but uh as a whole today the stock market was doing very very good you know dow jones up s p up nasdaq up russell up but uh yes corsair gaming did outperform all of them even before this after hours move but let's talk about what is going on this tweet from fast stock market news fast stock news um they're not the only person tweeting this obviously this is like a you know sketchy twitter account whatever but it's just the first one i could find Corsair Gaming to replace Midwest Bancorp in the S&P small cap 600. And this is a very, very big deal. And obviously, the market took this as a very big deal. Because again, I've been searching. I've been looking around. I've been trying to find anything. There is no really other relevant Corsair Gaming news that came out after hours today. Again, it's not earnings related. It's not broader market news related. This seems to be what investors are reacting to, and they seem very, very excited about it. Obviously, getting added to a new indice, getting added to, um, you know, the S&P 600, while it's not the S&P 500, it's not the biggest, you know, indice in the world or anything like that, it still is very, very significant. It means that, um, you know, obviously that index is going to be buying up Corsair Gaming shares. They're going to be holding on to Corsair Gaming shares for quite some time. So that's, you know, essentially taking shares off the market. Uh, you know, the S&P 600 isn't uh, a, a super, super active index. It's not something that's going to be, you know, flipping Corsair Gaming like a couple of weeks from now or anything. It is, you know, in this for the long run. But then it's also 
adding legitimacy, adding exposure, getting more and more eyeballs on Corsair Gaming. Obviously, they are a relatively new stock to the market. Uh, I can't remember. They, they IPO'd in September of 2020, um, and you know, in, in just not even two full years' time, to already be getting something like this going is really, really awesome. You know, it does kind of feel validated for me that, hey, maybe I made a good investment here because, hey, the S&P 600 thinks so. They are obviously pretty good investors. They have some pretty good results. Um, they like a lot of what Corsair Gaming is doing. Obviously, they have their own you know, requirements and, and things like that. One of the requirements, obviously, I think being you have to be under a 3.6 billion dollar market cap to be in the S&P 600 small cap index. Um, you know, it is the S&P's version uh, of their indices that is focusing on those smaller market cap companies, but obviously trying to find good small cap companies, not just any small cap companies. Right now, you know, Corsair sits right around a $2 billion valuation. Uh, and what a lot of people are very, very excited about Corsair is, you know, I pulled this up on Qualtrum in Insights. The fact that right now, uh, this is, in, you know, a little bit different now, but uh, they had, at least going into today, a 14 forward PE. Now, is Corsair the biggest growth company in the world? No, absolutely not. They're actually, you know, having some issues with growth and stuff right now because they're competing against the last two years of the pandemic when everyone was stuck inside, everyone was gaming, everyone was streaming, everyone had um, stimulus checks. So they had extra money to buy on a new mouse, a new headset, you know, uh, new streaming equipment, all this stuff. Uh, they're also competing against right now, obviously, um, you know, supply chain, uh, price increases, a shift issues, a lot of these things that uh, make it really, really tough. And the gaming market's been a little bit rough over the past couple months or years for gaming studios as well. You know, they can't get as many good games out. There's not as many exciting, exciting things going on in the gaming world. So a ton of people aren't buying new PCs or buying new equipment or buying new gear and all this stuff. Um, but I do think Corsair is in a very, very good spot. Um, and, you know, when I look back to some of their revenues, you know, from 2019, like pre-pandemic, um, you know, I still see that, hey, their revenues are increasing over time. Again, are they still down from, you know, where they were at the height of the pandemic and stuff like that? Yeah, absolutely. And are there issues with Corsair Gaming? Yeah, absolutely. You know, they have, uh, at least this is based on September of 2021, they had more debt than cash on hand. Shares outstanding are increasing a little bit. Um, you know, EBITDA has been going down. Revenue's been going down. There are some issues there, but man, that 14 forward PE is so, so, so damn attractive, especially for a company that I personally use, that I personally like, that I'm a fan of their products. Um, and they recently put out a very, very good earnings report as well. You know, the, here they, report, they reported record annual revenues of $1.9 billion for 2021. They also had a uh, net revenue of 1.9 billion, an increase of 11.8% year over year. Um, gamer and creator peripherals, uh, net revenue was 647 million, an increase of 20% year over year. Again, this is even competing against very, very um, tough comps from this last year to compete with. You know, definitely not uh, something that was going to be easy to, to beat, but they were still accomplishing these things. And gaming components and system segments, uh, net revenue was 1.2 billion, uh, an increase of 8.1% year over year. So, uh, we also have net income, uh, was, you know, a little bit down, but still relatively the same as last year. Adjusted net income was a little bit down, but almost exactly the same as last year. Um, and then adjusted EBITDA was down as well. Um, but then this fourth quarter was also really, really good. Obviously, you know, as you expect fourth quarters to be for a company like this selling, you know, gaming gear peripherals, the holiday season is going to be a very, very big time. Um, you know, net revenue, um, looking really, really strong net income, uh, adjusted net income, adjusted EBITDA. Again, th things are pointing in the right direction direction and they also gave uh continued growth guidance for 2022 which really got people excited and the stock didn't you know jump that much on this news um you know we, we we've seen it go up six percent in the past month i think these earnings reports came out last week but um again there is a lot to be excited about about course air right now at least in my opinion um and them being added to the s p 600 small cap uh indice or index or whatever is uh, just another really, really good sign. But that's why the stock's popping after hours. Again, we'll see what it does tomorrow morning once we actually have more volume and, and more opportunity to digest the news um, and, and what it does the rest of the weeks and everything. But hey, I'm feeling good about this one. I, I this, is a, this is nice to see. The last couple of months, we've been beat down, beat down, beat down. You see when your stock's is up 10% after hours? Hey, we're celebrating. But that's pretty much it for this video today, guys. Definitely drop a like if you did enjoy it. I would appreciate that so, so much. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about CRSR. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions. Subscribe, stay up to date on all my latest content. Hopefully catch you guys in the next one. But until then, peace.